Welcome back guys, let's get straight into it. I want to talk about the fact that this amount of screen space is not very efficient and I have a solution for that which I use and it's this button here and I'm going to show you how to use it in today's video. Now if you're not familiar already, this is an app, it's called Clip Studio Paint and it's actually from the PC, but eventually they made this iPad version and I love it. This is the app that I love to use the most here on my iPad because it's so similar to what you use on the PC version. I can use all the same tools, all the same shortcuts, most of the same assets that you have on the PC version. It's almost identical, but there are a few things that are different here on the iPad. And one of the main ones is that this is not a widescreen display. I actually really like that the iPad is this three by four. It's a four by three kind of screen, but the point is, it's not widescreen. When you use a PC screen-based tablet, they tend to be 16 by nine in terms of ratio. And as a result, that means you draw in this space here in the middle, which is mostly four by three. And then you have all the space for toolbars and buttons and that sort of thing here on the sides of the screen. Now you can actually see here, I've made these toolbars as small as possible. And when I don't really want to use them, I have them closed off like this, but there is an area here at the top of the screen, which is a massive waste. And to show you how much wasted space there is, I'm just going to click on this button here. And unfortunately you can't go any smaller than this, but look how much more space we have. Now this button is not on the command bar by default. So if you want to get this added centimeter or so vertical space on the Clip Studio on iPad, you normally have to click on here on window and then go down to hide menu bar, which is shift tab if you've got a keyboard plugged in. So if I press this button here, you can see it does the same thing and it hides it for me. But then every time I want to go back to it, I have to use that menu. And as you can see, it's harder to get to that menu because now I've hidden the menu bar. So I'd have to like search through the menu bar shortcut over here to window and then show menu bar. And as you can see, that's going to take forever. Every time I want to switch back and forth, maybe I'm going from animation to illustration mode, or I'm going from line art to coloring mode. I want to change various things. So the way you're going to get this icon to appear is to go over to something called command bar settings. So you go over here to the clip studio icon, tap on it once, and you slide down here to like the fourth option or so it says command bar settings. Just click on that and the option you're looking for is in here. Win well, first of all, you need to be in menu commands. Then you go down to window. And what really bugs me about Clip Studio Paint is that they don't show you the icons. You may recognize what icon you're looking for, but you don't know what it's called. So you have to actually find it through words. Menu commands, window, and then you have to slide down to the bottom here where it says show menu bar. If you click this here and you say add, you will add the button as many as, you, as many times as you like to your command bar, or you can click on it and then delete the ones that you don't need. I only need to have one of them, so I'm just going to leave it like it is. Press close, and then whenever you press the button, it will just hide the menu bar for you. Now, the truth is this shortcut is actually more useful on the desktop version because when I'm drawing on a 16 by nine tablet, for example, I've got a Wacom Mobile Studio Pro and mine is 13 inch diagonal. So 13 inches diagonal is pretty much the same thing that you've got on the iPad, but an iPad screen is 13 inch diagonal four by three. 13 inches on a four by three screen like the iPad, as you can see, is significantly more vertical space. So it's not really as crucial on the iPad, but on something like if you're using Clip Studio Paint on a Wacom Mobile Studio Pro or the, I think it's called the Wacom One or whatever other graphics tablets that are out there. Most of them are 16 by nine and you can actually press the show menu bar shortcut twice. Because here on iOS, you've only got this menu bar and the command bar. And then on top of that, there's a bar that you can't get rid of, which is the bar for the time, the date and other iOS related things like the Wi-Fi and how much battery you've got left. On the Windows version of Clip Studio Paint, you've also got the Windows bar, which you can hide. So this is iOS, you just can't hide it at all. But on Windows, you can click this once to get rid of the menu bar, then you can click it a second time to get rid of this top bar here with the date 
basically it's the, the X button and the minimize button to close the app. But essentially that is all I wanted to show you. It's just this icon that looks like this and it makes no sense. Some of the icons that you use in Clip Studio Paint, I don't know how you're supposed to guess what this is supposed to mean. I mean, this arrow and this bar and these dots, which actually come from the Mac version of the icon. Maybe it's because this is iOS, but even on iOS, you don't have these buttons. These icons actually come from the Mac version, the Mac desktop version of Clip Studio Paint. Whatever, I'm not going to criticize them too much. I just wanted to show you that this is how you get this button. And on iOS, it gives you an extra centimeter of space. And on PC or Mac, it gives you an extra two centimeters of space, which is significant, especially on tablets that are 16 by nine. That's all for today, guys. Remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check out this video right here if you haven't seen it already. Be sure to leave a comment, like the video if you found it useful, and be sure to share it with people who you think would also enjoy this tip. That's all for today. I'll see you next time.